Welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're checking out the March 2025 release of Cache OS. This is the second major update this year and the developers took some extra time to improve hardware support and make the system more reliable. Cache OS is an RG-based distro that focuses on performance optimizations and a smooth user experience. If you're using it or thinking about trying it, stay tuned because this update brings some cool new features, including a brand new bootloader, improved gaming support and better compatibility for new hardware. So let's break it down. One of the biggest changes in this release is the new bootloader Limin. Now what's a bootloader? It's the program that helps your computer start up and load the operating system. Many Linux distros use Grub, but Cache OS is introducing Limin as an alternative. So why is this a big deal? Works with both BIOS and UEFI, so it's compatible with older and newer systems. Supports steaming, just like Grub, so you can customize how it looks. Comes with automatic BTRFS snapshots, meaning if something breaks you can easily roll back to a previous working state. This makes the system more reliable and user-friendly, especially for people using BTRFS as their file system. Another improvement is the new Cache OS Samba settings package. Samba is what allows Linux to share files with Windows computers on the same network. Before, setting up Samba required some manual work, but now with this new package it's easier than ever. Just install it and you'll be able to set up file sharing with a few simple steps. This was a highly requested feature, so if you have a mixed Linux and Windows setup at home or work, this will make things way more convenient. If you're an NVIDIA user, here's some good news. The GSP firmware is now re-enabled for the closed source NVIDIA drivers. This means better performance and power management, fewer issues when running newer drivers, and more stable experience for gaming and creative work. In previous versions, the GSP firmware had some issues, but now after discussions with NVIDIA, most of the problems have been fixed. So, if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, this update should improve your overall experience. Cache OS is also keeping up with the latest hardware releases. This update brings support for RDNA for GPUs from AMD, as well as RTX 570 Ti and RTX 570 from NVIDIA. If you've got one of these newer graphics cards, Cache OS will now recognize them out of the box, so you won't have to hunt for drivers or tweak settings manually. Also, support has been added for Asus Armory Crate devices like the ROG Ally and some gaming laptops. This means better fan control and power management for these devices, making them more usable on Linux. Another important change is about NTFS support. Previously, Cache OS started using the NTFS free kernel driver as the default when mounting NTFS partitions. However, some users reported issues, so this update reverts that change. Now, NTFS partitions will be handled according to your system's default settings. If you use Windows Dual Boot or external NTFS drives, this means you won't run into unexpected problems anymore. For gamers and Windows app users, this update brings a major improvement to Wine. Cache OS now includes a custom Wine package that uses Windows on Windows 64, reducing the need for 32-bit libraries. Defaults to NT-Sync instead of Wine-Sync, which improves performance. This means less dependency on outdated 32-bit libraries, better performance in Windows games and apps, future-proofing since Valve and Steam are also moving away from 32-bit support. If you play games through Wine, Lutris or Proton, you should see improvements in stability and speed. For those who use DLSS in games, there is a new feature called DLSS Swapper. This is a script that automatically updates and installs the latest DLSS version and presets. No more manually searching for updates, just let the script handle it for you. This is a small but useful addition, especially if you're into gaming. As always, this update brings the latest software versions including Linux Kernel 6.14.0. NVIDIA 570.133.07 GNOME 48 KDE Plasma 6.3.3 and MESA 25.0.2 for better graphics support. If you're running Cache OS, simply updating your system will give you access to all of these improvements. 
If you're already using Cache OS, there is one small change you need to make if you have an Intel CPU. The update removes the CRC32C-Intel module, so you'll need to edit this .com file. Here is how. Open a terminal and run the following command. Find the line that says modules equal parenthesis and remove CRC32-Intel. Save the file and then run the following command. That's it. Other than that, just update your system. And that wraps up the CacheOS March 2025 update. There are some great new features here, especially the Limin bootloader, better wine support, Nvidia improvements and expanded hardware compatibility. If you're a CacheOS user, let me know in the comments what you think of these updates. Are you excited about these changes or are there things you'd like to see improved? And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.